This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Amber Heard admits to abusing Johnny Depp during their marriage. In an explosive audio conversation from 2015, she admits to hitting Johnny Depp. Okay, so this was the center of the conversation all through the weekend. Yes, and reactions, weekend. reactions, reactions. Hashtag justice for reaction. Johnny Depp. I mean, I saw the hashtag. That was, I'm like, okay, what happened? What are yeah. we looking for justice? And I saw the audio. Mm -hmm. But I'm not surprised. I mean, on this table, I like to say that I told you guys. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I always maintain that there is more. I'm, not even just me. I think all of us on this table, mm -hmm. we've been having this conversation for more than a year now, and we've always pointed out something that is not adding up in everything she's been putting out, you know, and we also said that uh, we're happy that he came out with the lawsuit at the end of the day, because if this lady really abused you mm -hmm. that much, it's not okay for you to keep quiet and cow in because there's a signed agreement for everybody to keep quiet. And she, the devil that was pushing her pushed her to go and write the opinion article, right? And Uncle became angry. But yeah. I'm happy this is coming out now, although the conversation is now very, um, let me use the word tedious, because yeah. you are seeing people standing out in feminist, this women mm. have been going through this for a long time and blah blah blah. Like that's, that's not the, the point. That anybody should take yeah. this matter at all. Because okay, for this um, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, I have actually known like when I was on Twitter, I used to like follow all these conspiracy theorists mm -hmm. people. So they're always saying that ah, it was not you know Johnny Depp was not the abuser that Amber Heard was the abuser and everything. But there was no concrete evidence. evidence. We just knew that they, they had a case in court and they were going back and forth. And there were so many people that were exposing her pictures and saying that this was a day before she had Bruce Marx. The day after the Bruce Marx were not there. Mm -hmm. They were now asking questions that how quickly do Bruce Marx yeah. heal? And then you look at Johnny Depp's It'll pictures. Mm. You look at Johnny Depp. <laughs> pictures you can see there there's picture evidence of mm -hmm. when he cut his hand there's pictorial evidence of after his surgery you can still see the scar there mm -hmm. so I feel like Johnny Depp has more evidence of actual domestic abuse and then if you listen to the audio tapes as far as I'm concerned if you were not won over before by the pictorial evidence if you are still confused after listening to the audio tapes then I don't know what to what to say to you because it's glaring to me that obviously she's not as innocent as she as she put herself yeah. to be being a victim of domestic violence myself, um, I would say that it's difficult for a man to actually admit that he's a victim of because of the patriarchal system. Yeah, sorry, sorry to cut you. I, I like that you're coming from that angle, which is what I want to mention. I, I tweeted something and I said, um, men, something around the lines of men need to wake up and let's go of this whole toxic masculinity yeah. thing. Yeah. Because, yeah. because yeah. a lot of manipulative yeah. women understand it mm -hmm. and they are using it to their advantage. To their advantage. And yeah. some people came for me and was saying that I was trying to victim shame Johnny mm -hmm. Depp. And I said, no, no if no, you've no, actually no. followed the show, you know that I would never victim shame anyone, not talk mm -hmm. of Johnny Depp, because we've had this conversation over and over yeah. again. But I'm glad that you're coming from that angle now and I want you to carry on, but I just mm -hmm. want to use the opportunity to tell men to speak up. Like, like it is not you're not going to be seen as weak or anything no one has the right to abuse anyone yeah. i think it's okay for men to show emotions i think it's okay for men to cry and which mm -hmm. is something that i would instill in my son if or when i eventually have a son that look show your emotion be weak when you have to be. Mm -hmm. Cry when you have to be. Yeah. When you have to cry. Human. And you're human. That is just part of all being human. But, you know, a lot of men tend to bottle a lot of things inside and then you feel I'm like, oh, I am the man. Mm -hmm. I can't show and show no weakness. No, it's not about that anymore. So Johnny Depp, my, he, I think it was forced and it took a lot of courage for him to actually finally release it. To yes. finally do it. Because for a long time, I and think he was going to let it go. the kind of image that Johnny Depp even has in the Hollywood industry. Mm -hmm. Everybody says Never. like the Bad Ever boy, think. Pirates of the Caribbean, that um, Aquaman, all of that. Do you understand? So it's so crazy that you just feel like someone like that will be abused and mm -hmm. then it sounds kind of unbelievable. Yeah. And the society will be forced to believe that, oh, it's um, how can you say that? It's like the story we're talking about, Dr. Seed and his wife, when yeah, she said, she said it's, um, it's twice, it's it's twice my it's size. About that. But people need to know that there are different forms of abuse. We have psychological, we have physical abuse. We have, But in this case, it's physical, it's psychological because and you I think it's also emotional. As well. Because if you listen to stop the audience, being a baby, stop being a baby. Stop she was being a so baby. condescending. Do you understand? Like she, you need to know that they're, like you said, the women that actually take advantage of this yeah. toxic masculinity, like they know about it already, mm -hmm. so they feel like, 
uh, you're not gonna do anything. You and can't even if you do friend. anything, people will believe you. People yeah, will you can't tell your friend. I, because another, you can't tell your friend I slapped you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I slapped you because they probably won't believe. But the moment a lady comes out there, and do you know why this is disturbing? Because women who are now the real victims of domestic violence will we'll be, be affected by this because people will have. Are yeah. you sure? Are mm -hmm. you sure I really did it or yeah. you're doing? Do you understand? So I I also, think, I think like what is the most ironic? The most ironic part of this story is that she became an icon mm -hmm. for domestic for abuse survivors. Mm -hmm. In fact, I even read a statement where she put out and she was saying that as somebody who has experienced this, I can um, share my experiences with women and encourage yeah. them. She became like an icon, a yeah. beacon of light for so many domestic yeah. abuse I survivors. Think men also, this doesn't, I mean, women are kind of fighting their own battle these days, which is not what I kind of stand for because I mm -hmm. feel like we should all fight for each other. But since we have more women speaking up for women, yeah. I think. I think men should also take a cue from this and yes. not judge their fellow yeah. men. Yeah. So the way we say that um, <laughs> women are women's enemy, there's a way that is put. It's yeah. the same way when a guy will come out, like you said, a guy cannot comfortably tell his guy friends that a woman slapped him because he, the other guy will like, waiting they do you, you yeah. this CCI, you this and blah. I mean, a lot will come out of it. So I think we all need to be better. And I, I really want to see where this case goes to right now mm -hmm. that this um, level of evidence is out. You know. So. And then I also want to also look at it from both angles because um, the fact that this tape is coming out mm -hmm. doesn't also rule out the fact, doesn't also rule out completely that Johnny Depp was not abusive in any way as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the fact that a woman is fighting back or talking back doesn't mean... There, there could be an actual fight where we're both abusive towards each other. So mm -hmm. I don't yeah. want... Until this case is over and all the ever, I don't want to say, oh, I'm ruling out what... So yeah, I want to put it like it's a 50-50 thing. They were both abusive towards each other. I don't. The, I don't really think it's a 50, 50, 50 thing because conspiracy if you listen theory. to the entire, you know, the entire audio tape, it was the one who was saying of I don't well, want us to. I don't want to said though. That's what Amber uh, Zatoni also yeah, said. Yeah, she was saying that, that they turned uh, the tape around. No, she didn't even say they turned it. She said the fact that a woman fights back or doesn't uh, or talks back doesn't mm. mean that. That's what I'm saying. From that tape, doesn't mean that, that tape did not give you vibe. It doesn't also mean that she is a victim of domestic. She understand. That's what I'm saying. That on you, this case is over. I wouldn't want to jump on any one side. I wouldn't want to say justice. I would say Depp. that I just want to say Johnny Depp has more evidence. The right person. I would say Johnny Depp has more evidence of you know physical abuse being meted out on him than mm. Amber. Well. And I will also say that if you listen to that to the progression of the um, audio tape, you would see that Johnny Depp was because they were it saying that they were doctor, trying to. You know they could come up with it that that's a one-sided tape that they didn't play the full conversation. Well, until they come out, doctor, though, until like they come out to so say that. I think I'm just going to sit on the fence on this. So I'm going to be Switzerland completely. Yeah, I'm justice for Johnny Depp because he has lost so much and he was only his friends in the industry. Yeah, that's another way to look at it. I mean, he him. is the one losing so much. He's the yeah, one who is losing so, so much from everything. Why is he the one losing? Why is he the one losing, losing everything? Losing? Because that's the patriarchal thing we're talking about and that is the, um, what's it called? Support no, for I women in terms of... No, okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I think I think I think it is more like the support for women when domestic violence comes up way more than it comes for men. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So I'm sure he has been letting them know that from the from the get go that look she was also abusive, but nobody well, believes just, it. I mean, this just do you understand? So, Let's see what but happen. the fact that it's a man that is doing it, they believe oh, it's on earth of you're a monster, you're a beast, mm -hmm. but they don't know that there are women that are actually worse than men. I hope he gets his justice, to be honest, because Johnny Depp has really, really... Like, yes, if lost. not for was, J.K. Rowling in his life that gave him a role in Fantastic Beasts, mm. he would not have had any... Like, he did not have any big or major movie franchise, save for the Fantastic Beasts and where they come from, because they sacked him from... The Pirates, Pirates of, of the Caribbean. Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So he has lost so he has lost so much. And then um, what's her name? Amber. If she was truly abusive, he's going to feature in Aquaman too. And mm -hmm. it's like nothing is happening to her own career. Her well, own career is just. Don't say nothing is happening. Right. You don't know what could happen what in the next one now, week. So. I mean, this just came out. So people are watching and deciding. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it will be a 50-50 thing. Hopefully, justice for Johnny Depp.